Tonight at 5 o'clock, a Holocaust survivor who lived here in Charleston for decades passed away recently last month. We'll have a resolution presented tonight at Charleston City Council. News 2's Forrest Tucker spoke with members of Charleston's Jewish community about this honor. Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg and members of City Council will unveil a resolution tonight honoring the late Holocaust survivor Joe Ingle. They'll use this moment as an opportunity to take a stand against anti-Semitism. Uh, I remember Joe Ingle coming to my school when I was a young kid. Days after celebrating the life of Joe Ingle, the city where the Holocaust survivor, businessman, and teacher once lived is honoring him. Councilman Ross Appel, who is Jewish, was key in drafting the resolution. The city of Charleston has been very friendly to the Jewish community for a long time. He says that this is a moment to further embed Ingle's name and story into the holy city. Ingle owned Glamour Cleaners on King Street and taught people about his experiences during the horrors of the Holocaust. He lived a life of trying to instill into as many people as possible uh, the joy of life and the uh, importance of reminding folks what can happen when the worst part of human instinct takes over. Many local Jewish leaders are in attendance tonight. Rabbi Evan Ravsky says that this moment starts the momentum needed to carry on Ingle's story. I think it's a recognition of what Joe meant to this community, right? Not just the Jewish community, but the entire Charleston community. Now, Joe Ingle's legacy can be seen in another spot around Charleston. Off of King and Carolina streets sits Joe Ingle Holocaust Survivor Street. It's another reminder of his meaning to our community. Reporting in Charleston, I'm Forrest Tucker. Count on two. Next on News 2.